Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is Aisha Naseen. The topic of today's lecture is data hiding or that we call it as encapsulation and how the excess specifiers play its important role in encapsulation in encapsulate the data and code. So let's understand it. Encapsulation. Encapsulation is an important feature of object oriented programming that binds code and data and protects from misuse of outer world. An OOP program consists of two parts. Number one is code and the number two is data. The data is manipulated by the code according to the program logic. Data is open for outer world but we can encapsulate it by using the access specifiers. Private, protected and public are three main encapsulation concepts that hide data from the outer world from the misuse. How we can access the members, the data members and member functions of a class, which member of the class is accessible in which part of the class or program. Basically, there are three main access specifiers in C++. Number one is public then private and protected. But the main are public and private. So what is private access specifier? The private access, spe access specifier tells the compiler that the member defined in the class by preceding this access specifier that is private are accessible only within the class and in friend functions. Private members are not accessible outside the class. We cannot access the private members outside the class. It will generate an error. Let's understand it with an example. So this is a simple example. We created a class and in the private section we created a variable. Uh, that's a member int a. It means that it's a private member. And in the public section we created an op we created a function and in the function we assign 20 value to a can we access the private member in the public section of the same class yes we can access the a variable that is a private member uh, that is a private variable in the public section of the same class code and here we simply print two statements the value of a and the a is a private member and can be accessed inside the class. So here the class ends and in the main function we created the object of private access specifier class which is this class. We create the object as p1 and we call p1.show. What would be the results? The results would be a is a private data member and can be accessed inside the class and the value of a is 20 it means that we can access the private members of the class inside the same class code but what if I assign the value of a here outside the class p1 that is the object name p1 a, a is a private member and we assign the value 20 can we assign it over here no we can't because it's a private member and we can't access the private members outside the class scope right so here will it will generate an error hopefully you understand the concept let's understand it with another example here we created a class with name date and in the private section we define three variables with day, month and year and here we define uh, a getter and setter method function in which this is the function name set date and in which this is a parameterized function and we pass three parameters as int a, int b and int c and here we define that whatever the value we will pass in a it will come in day section that is a private and whatever the value we pass in B, it will come in month section, that is a private member. And whatever the value we pass in C, it will come in year, that is a private member. And simply we print the date. 
okay in the main section we created the object of class date as d and we assign the value here as d dot day is equal to 11 can we access the d dot day is equal to 11 no we cannot pass the value outside the class scope as d dot d a day day is a private member and we are assigning it 11 it will generate an error what could be the error the error is int date day is private and here again we are passing the value 8 to month that is again a private member it's again generate an error that month is private again we are passing the 2020 value to year it's a private member and it's again generate an error that year is private so if we comment all these three statements and we simply pass the values 11 8 and 2020 to the set that a function that is a public function of the class date now there would be no any error and it will simply pass it because we are passing the values through the public function that is set date and here we pass the 11 and the 11 values received by the int a and whatever the value we pass in a we have discussed it will assign to day that would be the private member right and whatever the value here we pass the 8 to month and the int b will receive that value and from the b it will goes to the month which is the private member so in short we can pass the values to the public members of the class but we can't pass the values outside the class to the private members this generates the error and here is the correct code in which we command all these three statements in which we are accessing the private members outside the class so it will generate error so we command it and here we pass the values through the public set here is the output today date is 11 8 and 2020 hopefully you understand the concept next is public access specifiers public members are accessible from anywhere in the class either we can access it inside the class or we can easily access it in outside the class or in the drive classes there is no any issue we can access them inside the class outside the class in the main function and derived classes let's understand it with an example here is a simple code in which we create a class with name public access specifier and here in the public section we created an object uh, as int we created a variable as int a and assigned the value is 20 and here we create a simple function void show a and in which we print the value of a and in the main section we create the object of the class and we call v1.show a will it execute accurately yes of course it will execute accurately there would be no any error but what if we want to assign the value of a outside the class p1 dot a is equal to 20 can we assign the a that is a public member the value 20 yes we can we can access them to another example and here we are here we are creating an example of public and private both access specifiers and we create a difference between the and in the function we simply print a statement i am by default private member if any access specifier not defined what it means you have noticed that we haven't defined any access specifier here there is no any access specifier either the this variable and this function is private or protected or public by default keep in mind by default if we will never define any access specifier then that would be private by default 
so here if we never define an access specifier then the variable and the function would be private and here in the public section we create second uh, variable that is b and we created a function show b and in which we call show a function that is a private function can we call the show a function that is a private function inside another function yes of course we call them and here is the simple print statement i am b that a member in public section okay so here in the main section we create a uh, object of class that name is both access specifiers and here we sp.a sp.a that is a private member is equal to 20 can we assign the private members outside the class a value sp.show a can we access the show a function outside the class that is a private function think about it after that here we are assigning sp.b that is a public member as 10 and we call the show b function so uh, is there any error is what's the wrong with the code what do you think is there any problem with the code yes here is a problem because we are assigning the value 20 to the variable a that is a private member function I have told you earlier that if we never define any access specifier then in C++ that member functions or member functions or uh, data members would be private. So A is a private member and show, e, show A is also a private member. So it will generate an error that A is a private member and show A is a private member. So here is the error that A is a private. And here the next error is show A, that's also private. We cannot assign the values of the private members outside the class. So here we commented out all these things and we simply calling the show B. Now can we call the show B which contains the show A that is a private function too? Yes. Why? Because it's a public function and we call the show a function inside the show b just because it's in the same class code the show b is the same class as the show a so, and if it's private then there would be no any error because we are calling the show a function in the same class and the rule is that we can access the private members in the same class or in the same class functions that will generate no any error so here is the output i'm a private member if any access specifier not defined i will be private and i am b and this is all about the public and private access specifier hopefully you understand the concept let's understand it with some examples so a class the private members the data members and member functions cannot be used from outside while the public members we can use the data and functions outside the class encapsulation is basically binds or combine properties and methods into a single unit the main thing is how to drive a car note how the car is moving and how the engine is working this information is hidden from the driver and this is called encapsulation that we achieve in C++ using the access specifiers. Another example of encapsulation is like a capsule as the, all the medicine elements are closed into a coated, coated surface. So in the same way in a capsule the class methods and variables are all are encapsulated in a class so this is called encapsulation so let's summarize the concept that are hiding and encapsulation <sighs> members of a class are protected against illegal access from outside the class C++ provides a facility of hiding the data using the different access levels as private protected and public this is called encapsulation 
as there are three different access classifiers so the private members we can access within the same class but not in the drive classes and not outside the class in the same way the protected members that we use in inheritance and we have discussed briefly in the previous lectures of inheritance so we can access the private protected data members and member functions within the same class yes in the drive classes obviously because these are the protected and it deals the inheritance but not outside the class and the public yes the public member and member functions can access within the class in the drive classes or outside the class there would be no any error there would be no any problem so the private no direct access protected no direct access only through the inheritance and the public has the direct access and the class members access the private members yes but can the object of a class access the private data members no because object created outside the class the protected members on class members can access it yes and object of the class no while the protected the object can use it and on classes can also be used so this is all about the private protected and public in short the concept of encapsulation thank you very much